Wow, huge win. And I mean huge win up in New York City between the Florida Panthers against the New York Rangers up at Madison Square Garden. And this is the first time we've beaten them at Madison Square Garden in five freaking years. Yes, 2019 was the last time we actually beat them in New York City. Usually when we beat them, they would come down to, you know, uh, Sunrise. And then we, there's like a little slight advantage there. But this time, we go up to New York City and we've beaten them in Madison Square Garden 4-2. to two. And, you know, albeit it was not easy, it was not pretty, but oh my gosh, one name to do it all is Sam Reinhardt. Now, I will say this, it ain't just Sam Reinhardt, Barkov was nasty. He was just nasty and just fit, just managed to figure out how to, how to keep the play alive and literally, literally have had the momentum shifted to Florida. Now, it wasn't easy because New York had like one of the best offenses like ever, they just recently went through a 10-game winning streak. But then they forgot that the Florida Panthers are literally the road warriors. So, <clears throat> let's see. So, all right. It is Sergei Bobrovsky, once again, going up against, um, going up against Anka uh, um who is relatively one of the best goalies of the year. Siskirchen. He is just one of the best goalies of the season. And we start off with Savannah Shad winning the faceoff. And um and in the first in the first pair alone, um there, there's some blocked attempts. So really not much to comment there. Bobrovsky getting their save from Gustafson um on, on the rush. Uh gets there's there are a couple more blocked shots. Uh Bobrovsky makes some saves from VC. Uh, Troba, um, Egbert Larson game blocked by Troba. Um, back, um, there were some chances with Florida with Matthew Kachuk and Sam Bennett with the tip in the backhand, but that was saved by Sishkirskin. So, um, then Kachuk gets called for roughing on Adam Fox, and, and I gotta tell you, that, then, that turned into a bro. And I, I'll tell you, I'll say this, throughout the first period, not only did there were some chances, but that, it got physical, there were some penalties that they could have called, but they let it slide, especially when some players were getting boarded and getting to, bam, big hits. But no, no nothing was called until Kachuk was called on, on Fox. Called for a roughing, but yet, and Fox didn't get called for anything when he retaliates. And New York goes on a power play and, and, and surprised absolutely no one. They do get this power play goal. And what's so frustrating about it is it's literally the last few few Miller seconds. Because this was the final second of the power play. And that's still winning. Tropa with, with the slap shot. That ends up being saved by Bobrovsky. Bobrovsky didn't know where the puck was. And Coyle, Will Coyle saw the opportunity. And just, and just you know, backhand sit under the legs of Bobrovsky. And that goes to the back of the net. And... My gosh, just unlucky there. Keachie Miller with the assist, his 17th assist. And Jacob Troba with his 19th assist. Backhand is Will Goyle. Um, and that's his 11th goal of the season. And that puts New York up ahead. Kevin Stedlin, then immediately after that power play goal, Stedlin gets called for hold on Savannah Shad, and he goes to the box. And, um, and um, let's see. There was one shot on goal throughout that entire um, power play, and that was right at the last second of it. So, and that was saying Bobrovsky and power, power play we killed off. Adam Enstrom gets called for interference on Verhage. That sparked a little bit. <clears throat> and um, and Florida does go on the power play. There was a there was a shot on goal with Matthew Kachuk that was saved by Sichurskin. And Chris Kreider with a tip in on a shorthanded opportunity. That was saved by Robrowski. And we go to second period, losing one nothing against the Rangers. Florida still on the power play. We win the faceoff against Barclay, uh, Barclay Goodrow. I almost said Barclay Center. What the hell? Um, <clears throat> so a couple more opportunities on goal with Verhage. Uh, Reinhardt, which it hit the post. That should have went in, but it didn't. Verhage with the wrist shot. That was saved by Sesherskin. And Kachuk also with the wrist shot, though, save by Sushkarshan, and by that point, the penalty would be killed off. 
Um, then we're going to skip ahead a little bit. There'll be some chances. There'll be some rushes and chances, but Bobrovsky was able to save a lot of pucks. And so is Sigurdsson. So Sigurdsson and Bobrovsky were really having one of the best games. And, you know, especially with that little one, with that one hiccup might have, you know, transformed Bobrovsky's mind into, like, laser focus. There'll be some more uh, hits with the, between these two teams. Tropa again, then gets called for a trip against Barkov, and he goes to the penalty box. And Florida didn't get anything didn't, didn't get anything going with that power play, and that power play was easily killed off by the Rangers. Hold on, though. After the Keandre Miller wrist shot, the save of uh, Rempe gets called for tripping a low serene. So Florida goes right back on the power play. Crowd didn't like it, but that's the way it is. So Florida goes back in the power play. Reinhardt with the wrist shot that was missed. He missed it to the left. And one of the craziest sequence I've seen. And this was when I'm at the baseball. I was at a college game and I was watching it in between. This is what I saw. I saw Verhage passing it to Barkov, right? And Barkov literally, and I mean literally, juggling a hockey puck. He was juggling it. He's doing a little bit of a stick work, you know, with something like that. He was juggling a hockey puck with this stick. And as he was falling down on the ice, passing it to the right to Reinhardt. And Reinhardt finishes it off. I mean, dude, oh my god, Barkov. Oh my god. I've never seen such play like that in my life. It's like, it's one of those things you could do, like a backyard thing. If you have like, if there's like a bunch of ice or you're on a lake, you can go on the lake, you do, you do that kind of, it's like, it's like the backyard stuff. But to do that at the game, especially Massacre Garden, that's insane. I mean, that has to be the assist of the year right there. So Verhege gets an assist, that's his 34th, and Barkov with his insane assist of the season, his 46th. And, I mean, who else? It's Sam frickin' Reinhardt with his 43rd goal of the season. Another power play goal in his resume off the wrist shot. And Florida ties this game up 1-1. Two minutes after that, um, another one scored. This time, um, this time off uh, Nick Cousins with the wrist shot that was saved by Sturgeon. And th this next goal, assisted by Forsling, that's his 20th. And Barkov again, this time it's a it's a good pass. Not one of those fancy, crazy, you know. That's his 47th assist. That's his second assist of the season. Off the snapshot, I mean, he did it again. It's Sam Reinhardt. That's his second goal of the game. Uh, his 44th, uh, 44th goal of the season, his second of the night. And he did that with a snapshot. I mean... Reinhardt still playing his greatest hockey ever. <clears throat> oh my god! Couple of chances later with uh, with Rodriguez with the wrist shot that was saved by Sturgeon, and then uh, Brendan Sh uh, Schneider gets a big and gets some got big. Yeah, I can't believe I'm stuttering. Um, Schneider felt the force of a high stick by Lundell. And he gets called for a double minor because of that. So that's a four-minute power play. Rangers went on some heavy pressure on the power play, and it's four minutes. Uh, you got Panarin with the with the wrist shot twice. That was saved by Robrowski. Adam Fox also with that. Uh, Vincent Trocek, a former Panther, tries to get one that was saved by Robrowski. And then Chris Kreider would bury this one. It's another power play goal for New York. Uh, this was assisted by Panarin, that's his 50th assist, and Trocek, that's his 37th assist, and Kreider gets his 34th with the wrist shot, and that's a game time power play goal. And there was still two more minutes left of the power play, and that power play would be killed off. There were some chances, but Bobrovsky was able to save it with Lafreniere. Um, and it got it got physical. I mean, first period and second period, it got physical. Third period, too. Um, we then, we then, we then go to the end of the second period. We go to the third period now. Tied 2-2. Literally tied 2-2. So, with that, um, with that. So, New York wins the faceoff. Uh, Lafreniere with a tip and they'll say Robrowski. Rodriguez tries to snatch that. They'll say by Sashirskin. Uh, Sashirskin, um, holding out pucks. 
like, like, like he's always a good goalie. He's one of the best goalies of the season. The best. But yet, a fourth line was able to say something about that. This is assisted by Gustav Forsling. That's his 21st assist of the season. Off the wrist shot near, near the blue line. I mean, unexpectedly, it's Ryan Lomberg. He, he gets one from, from near the, near the mid ice. And he gets one, and he does, and he does this celebration. Like he has a ball, and he's gonna. I mean, that's that's, man. He was smiling at the garden. New York fans and the Rangers are shell shocked by that goal, and that kind of killed their momentum because Florida, Florida for the rest of the per period played a lot better now that the momentum is on their side. Now, with that being said, New York. Still has some chances. Uh, Trocek would try to get the back end. That was saved by Bobrovsky. And Savanich with a tip in. That was saved by Bobrovsky as well. Florida, throughout the period, was playing good defensive hockey. They are turning the puck over. Back to Florida. Mid-ice in the third period. New York, rusty, um, freaked out, and shell-shocked. They keep turning the puck over in mid-ice. And Florida keeps taking away... In mid ice, that's what that's the that's the thing right there. Near the end of this third period, though, New York now gets on the gets on the pressure. Savannah Chad, which I get when Schneider hits above the crossbar. That was close. That was close. That would have been tie game three three right there. By this point, the uh, Siskirchen had to come off the ice. This is an empty net. Uh, Gadget Miller keeps getting blocked. And that led to a turnover, um, and um, Ekman Larson would have that puck, passing it to somebody, and Lundell was able to get there faster, and he does the wrist shot, and bingo! Florida with the, with the goal by Anton Lundell. That's his ninth goal of the season. Ekman Larson's 17th assist. And ultimately, that wins us the game at the Garden. There were Panthers fans. At the Garden, I wish I was there to see it, but I'm down here. But either way, it's one thing to win the game, and it's also one game, one game at a time, and it's also one thing to win on a road, right? It's always awesome, always awesome to win on a road because not only you're building yourself momentum, but you're creating, you're generating more interest for other Panthers fans around the country to come on in and don't be shy. But to do that at the Garden, the world's famous arena, this hits to. It, it hits different. It kind of hits different. It hits different because Mass Square Garden is usually the tougher place to play in. They're all in the crowd, and I'll give it to the crowd. And I know this from experience. I, I actually been to one Panthers and Rangers game. The crowd is electric. They are an excellent crowd who is tuned in, all laser focused, and that it is such a good crowd, uh, New York uh, Rangers fans at the Garden. They spend a lot of money, and they it always ends up being worth it. So, so yeah, this hits different winning at the Garden. It didn't feel personal. It just it did not feel personal, but it felt special anyway. If you get if you get what I'm saying, our momentum still shifts for us. Now we look at the team stats. The shots nearly even. Now New York's shots on goals were. Were very good in the first two periods. Florida's got better near the end of the near the the other half of the second period than the third period. So Florida had one more shot than New York does. Um, New York does have more hits. Florida has one more faceoffs. Um, New York has four power play opportunities. They did get two of them um, from Coyle and um, Kreider. Florida gets three power play opportunities. Got one with Reinhardt, obviously. No shorthanded goals. Um, uh, each have three total penalties, which that doesn't mean. Uh, I guess, I guess that makes sense because one of them was a double minor. So I guess that kind of adds that with the power play. I don't know. I think ESPN is weird about that. Sixteen total block shots for both sides. Five takeaways for both sides, and New York gave the puck away six times. And stars of the game, no surprises here. Sam Reinhardt with two goals, uh, with one star. Two stars is Alexander Barkov with some insane assists. And 
They give this one to Bobrovsky. Gives up two gives up two power play goals. But still, for the rest of the game, he was able to beat the high-powered New York Rangers offense and beat Igor Sisterskin. That is incredibly special there. So, of course, you're going to give that to him. And when we look at the standings, we are we are a few we're we're still a couple of points ahead of Boston in the Atlantic Division. More importantly, we are still the best team in the National Hockey League with 88 points. Um, we with the game in hand, in hands with Boston Bruins and the Vancouver Canucks. How do I feel about this personally? I don't know. It's a conflict of interest, in my opinion. On one hand, you like to be the best team in the in the league. But on the other hand, do you want the President's Cup trophy? I don't know. I don't know. I'm <coughs> I think I'm willing to sacrifice a President's Cup uh, trophy to us who win the Stanley Cup. And now we're, we are the odds on favor to make a Stanley Cup and perhaps win it. I don't trust the odds at all. I do not trust that. I always We always have to take those with a grain of salt. But that's where I stand with this. Now, Florida does not get a lot of rest because um, they because they have a game tomorrow night. All you have to do is go across the Hudson River. And yes, I know it's a Hudson River. To New Jersey to play the New Jersey Devils at the Prudento Center. So last time we went to Prudento Center, I was in California. And we beat them 4-3. to three, And we nearly lost in the comeback. If you remember that. That was only the third game of the season. And that was our first win. So, let's see what happens in that game. So, anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this one. If you have enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and contact because Miami TVG has it back. And when he does, he'll be right there with the entertainment you deserve. Miami TVG, sign up, folks, and go pant this, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night, everybody.